In this guide we will install a PCI Wi-Fi card in your computer. First shut down your computer. Next remove all cables attached to your computer. Open your computer's case. If you are unsure how to do this, you should refer to your computer's manual. Once the case has been removed, you need to identify an available PCI slot. It is important to be careful when handling the hardware inside your computer's case. If the PCI slot has a plate, unscrew it. Now that your available PCI slot is ready, you can go ahead and insert the card. Take care making sure to align the card correctly. Push the card into the slot. Make sure it is seated firmly. Insert and tighten the screw that holds the card in place. Put the cover back on the computer. Replace the cables. And turn on the computer. When your computer boots up and your desktop appears, Windows XP will automatically see your new piece of hardware. A pop-up balloon will appear in the system tray in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, stating that your machine has found new hardware. If asked, insert the CD that came with your PCI card. The CD will run through installing the relevant software. Your PCI card is now installed. To make sure it is working correctly, go to your desktop, locate the My Network Places icon, move the mouse pointer over it and click the right mouse button. A menu will appear. Move the mouse down and select Properties by clicking the left mouse button. A new window opens displaying an icon called Wireless Network Connection. This means your Wi-Fi card has been added to the list of available network connections. Success! Your Wi-Fi network adapter is now correctly installed.